All right, good afternoon, everyone. Oh. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca. Shh. All right, thank you, guys. Good afternoon. I'm Council Member Rafael Salamanca. I'm the Chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to welcome my colleagues who are present today. We have, thank you. We have Council Member Barron, Contestanides, Chair Kalos, Cool, Landsman, Levin, Reynoso, Richards, Torres, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Chair Moya, and Rivera. I want to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on items referred out of our three subcommittees from our planning subcommittee. We will be voting to approve LUs 184, 185 for the properties in Council Member Levin's district in the Hamilton Heights neighborhood in Manhattan. LU 184 is affected property located at 638-640 Riverside Drive. HPD seeks approval of an Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years, pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law, to replace a 40-year Article 11 tax exemption previously granted in 2003, so that the term of the new tax exemption coincides with the terms of a 30-year construction loan. That was closed this year for much-needed rehabilitation of an existing partially occupied building. The building is anticipated to convert to a cooperative ownership in the future. The 34 vacant units would have income restrictions of 120% AMI and rent restrictions of 100% AMI. LUs 185 affected property located at 642-644 Riverside Drive. HBD seeks approval of an Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law to replace a 40-year Article 11 tax exemption granted in 2003 so that the term of the new tax exemption coincides with the term of a permanent financing loan that the owner is seeking. The property recently went through substantial rehabilitation. It's a partially occupied 12-story building anticipated to convert to a cooperative ownership in the near future. The 15 vacant units would have income restrictions of 70% AMI and rent restrictions at 60% AMI. From our landmark subcommittee, we will be voting to approve two applications with modifications. We will, we will be voting to approve one application with modi modifications. We will vote to approve with modification LU-175, an application submitted by New York City Police Department and the Department of Citywide Administrative Services for renewal of an existing lease for the acquisition of property located at 700 Columbia Street in Red Hook, Brooklyn, in Council Member Menchaca's district. The police department has leased this property since 1994 for use as a vehicle ed evidence storage facility that has a capacity of 1,700 vehicles. Our modifications will be limited to the term of the acquisition to 10 years. We will be laying over LUs 151, the Landmark Preservation Commission designation of the Central Harlem West 130th to 132nd Street Historic District. From our zoning subcommittees, we'll, we will be voting to approve LUs 199 and 200, the 57 Caton Place rezoning application in Council Member Landis District in Brooklyn. Applicant for, uh, 57 Caton Partners LLC seeks rezonings of C8-2 to R7A slash C2-4 to facilitate the development of a nine-story mixed-use building with approximately 107 apartments and ground floor retail. MIH option one is also proposed with an amendment to the Special Ocean Parkway District text, which would result in approximately 27 affordable units. We will also vote to approve LUs 201 and 202, the 1881 and 1883 McDonald Avenue rezoning application for property located in Council Member Yeager's district in Brooklyn. Applicant Quinton Plaza LLC seeks to rezone property from R5 to R7A slash C2-4 and to apply MIH options one and two to the rezoning area to facilitate a new eight-story building with approximately 35 apartments and ground floor commercial space and approximately 11 affordable units under MIH option two. We will vote to approve LUs 207, the O'Neill 
the rezoning for property located in Council Member Holden's district in Queens. Although the property in the rezoning area is currently zoned R4, the rezoning to R5D, R5D slash C2-2 and R4 slash C2-2 would bring existing buildings into zoning compliance and to the project site located on, on the corner of 53rd Drive and 65th Place would allow the enlargement of O'Neill's restaurant with a second floor for catering. We will vote to approve the LU-217, the HK Kitchen Corp application for revocable consent for an unenclosed sidewalk cafe at 3599 East Tremont Avenue in Council Member Jonai's district in the Bronx. The size of the cafe has been adjusted to address the concerns of the community. We will vote to modify the LU-206, the 3122 36 Victory Boulevard rezoning for property located in Council Member Mario's district in Staten Island. Applicant C and A Realty Holdings LLC seeks a rezoning to replace an existing R3X slash C2-2 district with a C8-1 district to legalize an existing automobile repair establishment and to increase the size of the facility. We will be voting to modify the application to remove the corner property from the rezoning. The building on the corner property at Tim's Hortons was recently built and conforms and complies with the existing C2-2 zoning and is not likely to be redeveloped pursuant to the C8 zoning. This is stated in the EAS. However, the adjacent and nearby residential properties would be put at risk of inappropriate illuminated advertising signs which are permitted under the C8 zoning. To be clear, it would be permissible for these signs to have nothing to do with the existing or future business on this corner zoning lot, as we are not talking about accessory signage. The proximity to residential use of this illuminated advertising sign, which brings in an immense revenues to their owners and operators, makes the rezoning of this corner parcel inappropriate, in addition to being unnecessary. We will be voting to disapprove pre-LU-203 and LU-204 and 205 and the 27 East 4th Street application for the property located in Council Member Rivera's district in Manhattan. Applicant Calodot Park Cooperation seeks a uh, zoning text amendment to special permit 74-712 to make the site eligible for a special permit and seeks two special permits under the section to allow a transient hotel and retail use on the, on the project site and to modify bulk regulations to allow the proposed buildings to reach a height of 90 feet without setback. In considering the proposed text and the text of the risk Posed to a very unique landmark, Merchant House Museum, which could benefit from a continuing maintenance plan, we question the policy rationale behind the proposed amendment to 74-712. Our view is that the zoning resolution already contains an applicable special permit under section 74-711, which does the same thing as a proposed zoning text, but with a public benefit, landmark preservation. Given that 74-711 is available to the developer of 27 East 4th Street today, the council believes that the proposed zoning tax amendment is neither necessary nor appropriate. Because the special permit are contingent upon the next text, they will also be disapproved. We will be voting to approve the modifications to LUs 192, 193, and 194, the 80 Flatbush applicant in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. Alloy Development is a co-applicant with the New York City Educational Construction Fund seeking a zoning map amendment from C6-2 to C6-9 and a zoning text amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area. Establish applicable regulations for new C6-9 district within the special downtown Brooklyn district and create a new special permit to permit modifications of bulk, MIH, ground floor use, parking, and loading regulations for development in conjunction with ECF in the special downtown Brooklyn district. These proposed actions will facilitate the development of two new schools, two new mixed-use towers originally proposed at 561 and, 989, and, and 989 feet, Modifications will be density and building scale. Instead of an FAR of 18, the site will be rezoned to allow much increased FAR upon the provision of 100,000 square feet of special uh, school floor space. The height of the toilet phase two tower has been reduced to 840, including the bulkhead, and the height of the smaller phase one tower has been reduced to 510, including the bulkhead. These modifications will result in fewer shadows on the nearby community garden and a more appropriate urban design with better relationships to the surrounding buildings. 
Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Council Member Levin. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I spoke mostly about uh, this, uh, this project uh, during the subcommittee vote. I just wanted to, I was remiss in acknowledging a, a few more people. Um, Carl Rodriguez and Carolee Fink from the Deputy Mayor Glenn's office, as well as my staff, Elizabeth Adams, Jonathan Boucher, um, Glamani Bravo Lopez, who was with uh, the community for numerous, numerous meetings, uh, and Edward Paulino. So I just want to acknowledge them and their hard work on this project. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Council Member Levin, and congratulations. Um, Council Member uh, Rivera, would you like to speak on your project? No. Uh, thank you. Um, I did make some remarks earlier in the subcommittee, and again, thanks to Chair Moya for allowing me to make some brief remarks. Um, I just want to uh, thank you for what you said in terms of why we are disapproving this application, and I uh, want to thank all my colleagues in advance for supporting me. All right, I now call on a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees to approve LUs 184, 185, 199, 200, 201, 202, 207, and 217. To approve with modifications, I have described LUs 175, 192, 193, 194, and 206. To this approves pre-considered LUs 203 and LUs 204 and 205. A vote of I on all is a vote to approve and approve of modifications and disapprove. Will the clerk please call the roll? Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on land use. Roll call vote on the aforementioned LUs with all accompanying resolutions. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Gibson. Barron. Permission to explain my vote? Council Member Barron to explain her vote. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm voting aye with the exception of land use 192 through 194. I just think that that is much too much. I appreciate all the work and the reduction in the height, but it is much too dense, and it is only, I think, 200 units, which we appreciate, but my opinion, again, is that the people who need housing the most are not being afforded an opportunity to apply for housing in large enough numbers. And that is the reason that I'm also voting no on land use 199, land use 200, and land use 201 and 202. 202. I think 199 and 200 has about 25% affordable, but we always, that's a dangling uh, phrase there because it means that 75% is market. And that same holds true for land use 201 and 202, which I think is about 30% affordable and 70% market. We're not going to be able to address the issue that we're having with homelessness and people who are living doubled up with other family members until we provide adequate numbers of housing for them. So. Um, with that said, I vote aye on all, with the exception of LU192 through 194, LU199, LU200, and LU201 and 202. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Constantinidis. Aye on all. Deutsch. Kalos. Permission to explain my vote? Chair Kalos will explain his vote. I just wanted to uh, thank the folks from uh, coming out from Community Board 2 uh, and protecting that historic district and compliment uh, Councilmember Rivera yet again today for her amazing work in preservation. And also I want to thank the folks who uh, came out from the uh, group to protect uh, Central Harlem and just to thank you for coming out, making your voice heard, and that item was withdrawn from the agenda. So uh, advocacy works, and this is the people's out. I proudly vote aye on all. Ku. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Levin. Aye on all, and I also want to acknowledge the students and the uh, uh, 
teachers and staff at Khalil Gibran International Academy that did a lot of advocacy as well. Thank you. Reynoso. Richards. Aye. Torres. Aye. Traeger. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Okay. The following is a breakdown of today's committee vote. The following items were approved by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. LU numbers 184, 185, 207, and 217. Uh, the following items were approved by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, one negative, and no abstentions. LU numbers 199, 200, 201, and 202. The following items were approved with modifications by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. LU 175 and 206. The following items were approved with modifications by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, one negative, and no abstentions, LU numbers 192, 193, 194. The following items were disapproved by a vote of 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, LU numbers 203, 204, and 205. And the land use item LU 151 was laid over by committee. Thank you. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and line staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.